Yes, sir. My clinical diagnosis of this man, of this gentleman, is bronchitis, evidenced by bilateral chest expansion reduced or reduced bilateral symmetrical chest expansion, along with the obstructive airway findings evidenced by the vesicular withdrawal expression with the AP diameter is increased in the battle shaped chest. Along with that, I found there is a clubbing. The fingers and the toes are clubbed bilaterally altogether. <coughs> Along with that, I found the crackles. And these crackles are the coarse crackles toward the inspiration. And there is a changes, slight changes after coughing. So my clinical diagnosis of this gentleman is bronchitis is evidenced by symmetrically reduced chest expansion with the increased AP diameter with the barrel shaped chest with the evidences of the obstructive airway disease evidenced by the best and the best and the best course ever you will experience in your whole life. Man. Vesicular with prolonged expiration along with the crackles, the coarse crackles throughout the inspiration. No, and, and there is a changes after coughing, and there is a clubbing bilaterally, both the hands and both the face and fingers and toes all together. And this bronchiectasis is not complicated by respiratory failure at this moment because I have not found any of the any of the any of the cyanosis. I have not found any of the Features this gentleman is on oxygen dependent at this moment because the bedside, no surroundings of the oxygen cylinder or maybe the oxygen cannula in situ or maybe the oxygen mask at the bedside. So as because this gentleman having no this feature, so this gentleman having no features of respiratory failure and also no features of carbon dioxide retention in the form of, as I say, the warm hands, palm erythema, bounding pulses, and also the flaps my dear altogether. And this gentleman, the Bronchiectasis is complicated by corporal malaria, as evidenced by, once again, the leg edema. So, but I would like to examine the cardiovascular system to get the features of pulmonary hypertension, the right heart failure altogether, to see the features of the corporal malaria. And also, I have seen these gentlemen having the history of the history of bronchial asthma. As because of the history of bronchial asthma and he has got the bronchiectasis altogether, I think the underlying etiology of this gentleman bronchiectasis is allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. And this gentleman is on steroid, as evidenced by, as I said, the S for skin, T for thinning, my dear. The skin thinning is a single evidence at the best side. So that you can say this gentleman is on steroid. So let me show the skin thinning. So you see. This is the skin and you see the skin thinning here, skin thinning here and the best areas that you can see the skin thinning is, skin thinning, his skin is thin enough so he's on steroid. So putting all them together, my clinical diagnosis of this man, of this gentleman is bronchiectasis complicated by cold pulmonary without evidence of respiratory failure and the underlying etiology of the bronchiectasis is allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis and he is on steroid at this moment. So, I would like to confirm my diagnosis by sending the aspergillus antibody and aspergillus precipitins and as well as the rust test to aspergillus. So yes, I would like to confirm also the bronchiectasis to do request to the HRCT chest and that includes the signet ring appearances of the bronchiectasis. And I would like to test the other blood tests, especially I would like to look at the complete blood count that will give me the idea of the eosinophilia, significant eosinophilia. And I would like to test for the serum IgE levels. And also along with that, a simple test that is a chest x-ray that will give me the idea of some of the pulmonary infiltrations. So putting all them together, that I'm expecting that the bronchiectasis, confirming the diagnosis by doing the HRCD test, and along with that, I can do the pulmonary function test as well. That will give me the idea of obstructive 
long DPAC that is a, that will be evidenced by FEB1, FBC ratio less than 70%. Usually the examiner is asking what is the treatment and management plan that you, you should do this of the gentleman. As because uh, I made the diagnosis the allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, my dear, is you, ne you need to know this gentleman needs the steroid for the treatment of acute attack of any shortness of breath or exhaustion, wheezing for the bronchial asthma. And also for the aspergillosis that the patient should be put on for the long term antifungal treatment, that is itraconazole. And that will be the treatment management along with that, definitely that we need to think about because of bronchiectasis, my dear. So you need to tell to your examiner, sir, I'd like to put this gentleman on some of the general measures and some of the specific treatment as well as some surgical treatment if he needs. The first of all, the general measures that includes the smoking cessation and second thing, the oxygen therapy if really he needs. And the third th thing is really important for the vaccination, especially the influenza and pneumococcal vaccinations. And fourth thing is the antibiotics if there is any evidences of infection. And fifth thing is the bronchodilators if he has any of the evidence of the bronchospasm. So these are the five important points of the general measures. And once again, the specific measures and the specific treatment of this gentleman for the bronchiectasis is a long-term antibiotic therapy. It's really important the long-term antibiotic therapy can be given by oral treatment or maybe sometimes the nebulizations, the treatments are available. And along with that, the most important thing is the expectorant, my dear, cough expectoration. And that can be done by giving the some of the mycolytics and uh, maintaining his hydration as well. And third thing sometimes that we use that the N-acetyl cysteine as well. So these are the cough expectorant and the most important top of them, the, yes, the, we need to train the physical training and the physiotherapy will be helpful, the chest physiotherapy to expectorate the more and more sputum. So yes, my dear. So along with these two important specific treatments with the long-term antibiotics, and along with that sputum expectoration, and that can be done best by the physical training and physiotherapy, chest physiotherapy. And these two specific treatment and the surgical treatment, yes, if he really needs that the surgical treatment may be needed sometimes. So these are the ways that you need to present your case and you need to tell the how to investigate and to confirm your diagnosis and what will be the long-term planning as well for the management plan altogether and impress the examiners altogether. So I would like to show this gentleman having the diagnosis of the allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis and this is an evidence based. That is not needed for your exam, but at least if you see them, yes, this is a reality that comes at the end of the point, that is the diagnosis of the allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. So I'd like to show some of the evidences here so that you can see and believe in yourself how to make the diagnosis and really in the patient's exam how the things can be applied and the knowledge can be applied confidently my dear. Just come forward just to see some of the reports. I have seen that I have got the reports here, the, the serum Ig level and also the there's a pulmonary function test and this treatment is given and after treatment the serum aspergillus antibody getting down that I'd like to show this one. So yes, the gentleman, as I said earlier, the allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. So if for allergic, so if for asthma and uh, eosinophilia, and also the serum Ig level. So you see, the serum Ig level is more than hundred. It does mean that more than yes, one thousand. You see that the hundred is the lowest limit. Yes, more than fifteen plus is less than one fifty. But you see, this is eleven hundred. 62 means the more than 1000 is a very significant very high serum Ig levels So we got the single point to diagnose is the asthma eosinophilia with the serum Ig very very high And once again this is because of the asthma definitely the asthma but along with the bronchiectasis the allergic bronchopalm is the bronchiectasis the next point that we have done the test for the pulmonary function test and we found the pulmonary function test 
that showed that you see the FEV1 FBC ratio, FEV1 FBC ratio is 61%. You see the 63% is the 61% here. 61, you see. So, yes, this is the mild obstructive abnormality. So, this is the mild obstructive abnormality. So, this is very much important. So, once again, then we can understand that is the obstructive airway disease. So, other than these two, that we already made the bronchiectasis and also the allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. So, as because we found the allergic bronchial means the obstructive airway disease. And now that we done the serum aspergillus antibody, and that was very, very high earlier, and provided the serum aspergillus antibody is very, very high, and we started the treatment with the ITRA, you see the capsule ITRA conazole, that is ITRA 100 milligram once in a four months. So the patient is taking already this treatment. After diagnosing the serum aspergillus antibody, and after treating the patients, we got the reports here. You see the serum aspergillus antibody is getting down, is less than 8, is normal, is 1.62. So these gentlemen are having a very good response with this. The previous report, the gentleman has lost it. So that's why we couldn't show it. But it was very, very high. But after treatment, you see these gentlemen. Yes, you see that this is the 11th August, uh, 21 August of this 2019. And this is the 18 February of 2020. So after having good treatments with the itraconazole and with the steroid, this gentleman having very good response with the IgG, serum IgG means the aspergillus antibody is getting down and is getting normal. So the diagnosis, allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. So here's the allergic that we got the evidences here. That the serum IG level is very high, bronco, bronchiectasis, obstructive disease, that is a obstructive lung defect in the pulmonary function. And after treatment with the trachonazole, that we found that the treatment means the serum IG antibody is getting down, is good responding. So diagnosis, allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. And of course, for the bronchiectasis, we need to do the HRCD test. Maybe we can show you the HRCD test, the reports altogether, my dear.